Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming, and we're playing a little Pathfinder Kingmaker, uh, and we are playing turn-based combat since it is out, and I believe that is how the game should be played. So our main character here is Eric. He is a uh, ranger um, storm warden, I believe is the actual subclass. So he will uh, shoot lightning, hopefully. Um, and we are playing uh, the Varnhold uh, kind of mini campaign. I don't actually know how long it is, but maybe we'll find out. Hopefully we'll play through. Um, lots of people have been watching our two turn-based videos that we put up about a week ago. And so I thought um, far and away more than anything else we're watching um, or that I've been producing. So I figured this is content you guys are looking for. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. Um, so last... Um, Last video, we created our party, um, we created ourselves. we did all the initial talking, and we created three additional party members because I'm not a fan of the three base ones the game gives you um, that we will be able to take onto our onto our, our first mission here. So, Meager Varn is the Baron. He's been made Baron of the Varnhold. Uh, so, similar to the first campaign, there were three groups that went out. We happen to be one of those other groups, and he happens to be somebody that succeeded in getting his barony. He has made us our general. Uh, Cephal over here is the... Um, primary advisor, whatever, regent, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mirvarn stands half turned to you. There is tension in his pose, though he only stares into the distance. Without turning, he begins to speak. Eric, you're right on time. We need to discuss the incident at Dunsward, and about a thousand other things that have come crashing down along us, down on us, along with the Baronhood. What do I need to know about the incident at Dunsward? There's a place in my dominions called the City of Hollow Eyes. Until recently, it was considered quite peaceful and harmless place, despite its name. But something strange is going on there. <clears throat> Our scouts report that the centaurs have attacked the locals, and a gang of cutthroats is wandering in the area. It's a good bet that the centaurs and uh, bandits were uprooted by something else. Something dangerous. Or perhaps they're drawn to the place by something precious. City of Hollow Eyes has been revealed. One day I'll certainly become a decent baron. I'll sit on a throne, sip wine, and grow fat. But before that wonderful day comes, I hope to add a few more pages to the adventures of the Varnling host. So if you're ready, General, say the word. I am ready to stretch my legs. All right, uh, I'm ready to set off to the Dunsward, and so are our people. Got 135 experience. Are you sure? Sure call. Uh, I'm going to be riding you hard, just like the old days. There won't be time for daydreaming. Uh, yeah, let's 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 get going. I think we, we got everything done in the first video. All right, so we've got our three additional party members here. We'll go ahead and grab them. We shall accept, and uh, we'll get on the road. <clears throat> if you're interested in a more in-depth look at any of the characters, check towards the end of the last video um, for the three that we made, which is our Paladin, our Armored Hulk, and it's our Alchemist. We also looked at uh, Meager and Cephal. And uh, towards the beginning, you'll see when we made our character there. So um, you can manage this here. This is your base kind of camp ability. Um, let's go ahead and pull everybody off. And we'll pull everybody out of their abilities. I guess I can just right-click them. Uh, and you can see what everybody is good at. We don't have any additional recipes. So um, obviously, um, I'm good at watch. Um, I'm also good at hunting. Uh, is anybody else going to be better than a plus 14? No, but we do have actually a plus 8 and a plus 9, which is pretty good. So if we wanted to, you know, if we were trying to maybe had nobody that was good at watching, we could put me there and we might end up doing that. Um, I think he's going to be the best for our camouflage. Yep because he's a rogue, so he gets the stealth ability. I didn't put it in on me. I could have, um, but I just, I said, nah, nah, that's fine. Anybody better than, as a cook? Um, we'll go ahead and put him here. He's a decent watch. We'll put him there. Um, she's not going to add anything to, uh, to watch order. They don't have any special roles either. Can either of these people cook? No, no. Um, I was going to say, we could set traps up. If we put Meager Varn here, he'll actually will set traps. And if we set um, Cephal there, he'll set traps. If I take me off, can either of these people hunt? No. No. Okay. All right. So, not wasted, wasted. Uh, we'll go ahead and put her there. And we'll try to get a plus two there. So we've got something um, for our second watch. And we'll call it a day. And we'll get rested. All right. Looks like we uh, survived. People always invent such creepy names for old ruins. 
I bet when the Cyclops were alive, they called that place Goat Smell Walk or something of that sort. I highly doubt it. The ancient Cyclopes, after all, had far better taste than you. There were complaints about merchants disappearing in this area, along with their goods. We should look into this. <clears throat> all right. Let's see how the first the first map goes. We need to get our party set it set. What I should have done before we did that, and I didn't think to because I'm an idiot, was to go in here and make sure our spell books were what we want. Now, it shouldn't be an issue because most of our spell casters happen to be um, of the clerical sort. So we can kind of cast whatever we want. We don't have to memorize stuff, right? Um, and same for our alchemist. We essentially have all of the first... Oh, no, see, we, we don't. We don't have any of our spells memorized. So I screwed up. So this first fight, we're kind of hosed. I'm going to go ahead and take Bless, and I'm going to take Cure Light there for her. Uh, and we should have done this before we camped, because that was why they gave us that time, specifically to do this, and so we screwed it up. Um, he's got a shield and a reduced person done. We're going to take Bomber's Eye. We're going to make sure we have a Cure Light in there. And I'm going to go ahead... Take another shield. Um, he's got all his set up. Maybe not the way I do it, but... Um, but you can see there's his first level, his second level... Um, and his third level, um, we need to make sure because we've got some... She only has first level, but I believe I have second level here. So we've got protection from arrows and see invisible. So we'll kind of stick those in there. I think that's everybody... Oh, no, I'm going to get spells too because I'm a ranger. So yeah, we really screwed up here. Um, magic Fang. Um, plus one enhancement. That's not bad. Um, attack and damage is really good, actually. Um... Summon nature's ally is not too bad. Um, a natural might. Okay. I don't know how good or bad the might is, to be honest. Aspect of the falcon. Perception. Uh, plus one competence bonus on ranged attacks. And the critical... Oh, that's actually probably better than trying to go with this. Right, so that's going to give natural and... Unar yeah, no, we want aspect of the falcon. Um, we don't have an animal companion, so that's not an issue. Um, so we might... Hurricane bow, um, and that just makes our bow bigger. That's not too bad either. Um, we'll kind of play with those. Uh, and we don't have any level two abilities. So, again, we're going to want to rest at some point. We could do it right now, maybe? Let's hit a quick save. And let's see if we can rest again. Um, if it'll let us. I don't know if this area... I don't think this area is going to let... Nope. Uh, there's a spot there, but I think we're going to have to do the first fight. At least at least the first fight to clear a little area. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Let's come back. Let's get everybody where we want them. Paladin up front. Then there. And then I suppose it doesn't really matter. Us in the second row. And then our two in the back row. I think that will work. Let's kind of swap everybody there. Some edible moss. You can't go wrong with some edible moss. I don't think. Unless it's edible but poisonous, which I guess is possible. It'd still be edible, huh? Yeah, nothing else up there. Oh, we got a trap. Um, I'm going to kind of stop us here. Um, and it looks like it's going to send Meager up. I think he is slightly better than... Well, he was. We looked at it. So we'll let him do the traps. You got another one. I'm going to sneak up here as we... Something's obviously killing things here. There we go. I knew it was coming up. Get ready for battle. Okay. So, um... There's a dude down here. I'm going to shoot... Let's see, I get six of these. And I plan on resting before too long, so I don't mind using these. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, it's a standard action. Is that really what I want to do? Can I do it and then still shoot? 
Let's find out. So I used my ability. That's cool. And now, no, I can't shoot. Um, that's fine. So I don't know that I want to, but I will. Let's see, he's there. Is he the only one we're seeing? I'm gonna walk down here. I'm reasonably certain there's a lot more of them out here. We just haven't seen him yet. Oh, somebody moved, but I thought there was one there and there's a couple up here maybe. Um, Cephal, I'm gonna go ahead actually, and I'm going to go ahead and let's do a summon monster two and we can do a wolf or we can do D3 mad dogs. Let's just do D3 mad dogs. Just get some extra dudes out in front of us. We got all three, which is nice. Oh, yep. There's a, a dog reaper. That doesn't say good things for our dogs, unfortunately. Um, but hey, we got a good hit there. <clears throat> so you gonna go, oh, he went after this one. The whole pack went after that one. That guy is about half dead already. Uh, and he shot us, of course. That's fine, it's fine. There comes the next dude. And he shot us as well. All right, well, he went after the Barbarian. That, I guess, is good. Um, that means this dude is now more or less flanked, so we're going to go ahead and get a sneak attack on him. Um, I'm going to send Brynhild up to here. Um, I'm going to give her a charge, I think. Let's see, what... Is this a... Uh, one point of enhance. Let's go flaming. And then... I don't think we need that. We'll just now charge up and go after this dude. There we go. Oh, now, now we got options. So this guy's about half. This guy's about half. He's slightly out of throwing range. Um... As is that guy. Do we finish him off? Let's, um... We got a lot of alchemist bombs. Um... So, let's see. The alchemist bomb does 1d6 points of fire damage plus additional damage. This is explosive bomb. Or choking bomb. 1d6 plus... Let's see. Direct hit, 1d6 of fire damage. Plus damage equal to our um, intelligence modifier. And it gets an extra 1d6 every odd numbered. So we're doing, what, 3d6 damage with that? Um, I'm going to right-click on... Is this one kind of the same? Uh, 1d6... Every odd numbered splash damage is equal to the bomb's minimum damage. I think we're going explosive. Yeah, there we go. He is so close and the, and the burning should take care of him. And I'm going to kind of... Um... Actually, where am I going to go? I'm going to go to here. We need to make our way up the hill, I think. And Dunker is raging. He's got his guarded stance on. That's perfect. Let's finish this dude. And then start to walk up here. We'll go there. Um, is this guy done yet? He will be in a second. I needed some revenge after all the shooting people did against me. And I'll kind of put us up here on the middle of the path. That was nice. I like that. 26 damage. Oh, there we go. Um. Got him. We've got him. Kind of wonder if we just magic missile this guy. Okay. And then stay back here so I don't get fireballed, or actually alchemied, whatever happened to be up there. All right, they got the movement. 
but they can't actually attack at the end of it. That's fine. Does mean this is a, a big target for whoever was throwing fireballs. Oh, he tried to shoot and got a bunch of attacks of opportunity. He is not dead, though, interestingly enough. Um, I'm going to go after this guy. I'm really not a fan of putting everybody right here when somebody is... Oh, and we missed. Really? He's still not dead. He is so close to Ted. So close. Okay, well, is what it is. Do we just shoot that guy? Oh, it got both of them. Well, kind of. He, he reduced on him. Okay. I'm going to pause there. Somebody... Is it this guy that was throwing them? I guess it was him. So I guess, yeah. So we can get up and go on this guy. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, and we're taking that minus four probably for... Shooting into combat. Yeah, we need to get that precise... Precise shot. Next level. Oh, that was a lot. But we got some... We got some, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, attacks of opportunity on it. They just didn't do anything. And he's immune to magic missile. All right. Good to know. A little burning action there. The dog... Miss. Miss. <laughs> I mean, he's got an 18, but we rolled what? A six, a two, uh, another six. Um, Fight me. There we go. But we're going to get the sneak attack in there. Got one attack in on him. Uh, we'll bring the Brynhild. Oh, and she rolled a one. Um, the ones are a thing in this game. Just get used to it. I roll a lot of ones. A lot of natural ones. Okay, well, seven. It was reduced, but that's okay. He's taking a fair amount of damage here. But he did get the final revenge. There we go. Okay. Um, let's just collect everything here for the moment. Uh, we got some stuff down here. Yeah. Uh, this guy down here. Dogs disappeared. And what, we saw there was a chest up here somewhere? Let's see if there's any more traps up here. Didn't spot any. Uh, it's not locked. A couple light hammers, some going, and it looks like some more edible moss. And I'd say we go down here, we rest again. Oh, and we got a level too. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and level everybody up. And then we'll maybe set up a camp down here. Get all those spells memorized that we should have done the first time if we were smart. All right, let's take a look at Brynhilda. All right, another level of Powden, because yes. Um, and we are going to get uh, Mercy. All right, so we're going to get an additional thing on our, our lay of hands. And again, we're just, we're not really too worried about her for this. We're just going to put some points in and see what happens. Um, so we're already getting rid of Fatigued. Um, disease might be good to get rid of. Um, shaken, Sickened, Staggered, Dazed. Let's go for dazed. We might see that in combat. I might see all of them in combat, to be honest. We'll just kind of pick one. I don't really know which one we're going to see more, more than the other. All right. And let's go ahead and hop down here onto our barbarian and see what we need to do for him. Um, and he's going to get what? Uh, more rage power and resilience of steel while wearing heavy army gains additional plus one bonus to AC that applies only on critical hit confirmations. Okay. So, but it's going to make it harder for them to crit him. That's, that's something. Um, and we'll go ahead and put our point into athletics and our point into mobility and persuasion and use magic device, because we can. <laughs> um, reflexive dodge. Uh, we don't have a dodge bonus, so it, that's not an issue. Um, I don't know if swift foot is gonna help us or not. It says it's to our base speed. Um, I'm going to hope that it does, and we're going to take it um, so that we can get in and tank faster, um, get longer charges off, that sort of stuff. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Eric, our ranger. Um, and we'll do one more level of that. And we've got four points here. So we'll stick with perception, lore nature, um, trickery. Again, I just want back up on that. And I think I'm going to go athletics here. Like I say, this is going to add up because we're not really... We're not going to have a huge armor penalty. I mean, right now we've got minus one for the studded leather. Oh, we should probably just take the shield off. It's giving us a negative. Um, we're not planning on using it. We've got point blank. Um, and, and we want precise shot right here. That means we won't take that negative four to shoot into combat anymore. Perfect. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to get rid of that. There we go. Um, hand axe? Yeah, hand axe is good. I'm good with that. All right, Meager Varn, what, do we, what can we do for our rogue baron leader here? Uh, and we definitely put points in there. Into persuasion, use magical device, perception, and I guess lower nature. Sure, that's fine. Um... I really like Canny Observer because um, I don't like missing stuff. So I'm going to take that. I mean, he's our primary Observer dude. An extra four on those checks will be nice. And we'll complete that. And our evil our evil cleric, Vizier, wizard, dude. He doesn't get any special abilities this turn, but we're going to go ahead and put five points into his... You know what? I'm going to put it into Magic Device instead. All right. Spiked Pit uh, is a new spell from the last... From something. We got it. It wasn't in the game originally. I don't remember where we got it from, but I'm going to take it because it's pretty cool. Um, and then we'll see if there's any other summoning stuff because he likes to summon. Um, summon Monster 3? Oh, we already have that. See how it's not? Yeah, we already got that. Um, create Pit is also a conjuration. Um, so I guess that would be good. Oh, and that gets into level... Oh, that's a level two one. And we are on three. We, we, any other conjuration up here? Um, stinking Cloud. Sure. Nice. Um... Don't get any others. All right. Perfect. Complete. And let's go ahead and make sure that his spells are set up the way we want. Let's go here. Let's go spell book. Um, we've got those. That's okay. Um, we get another one of these. I'm just going to throw another summon. Mo oh, no. I'm going to put an elemental in there. Yeah, let's throw an elemental in there so we can, we can split things up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Spiked Pit in just so we can see what the heck it looks like. I think that's good. Um, let's make sure I don't have any additional ones I can memorize. I do not. He doesn't have any. I've got my level one spells done. He doesn't have any. She's got her level one spells done. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and throw up our camp. And we'll just toss it right there. And we'll do a quick... Um... There we go. I'm trying to find where it'll mouse over. Found it. Quick rest. Get everybody back up and fighting. Football Manager 2020. Let's post a new announcement. Different approaches to youth development. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any real need to change the way we're set up at the moment. Found some food. Camouflage. Cooked her a decent meal. Nobody ambushed us. Everybody got healed up. We've got our spells done. Now we're set. We should have done that the first time. We could have just rolled into the next, you know, encounter if we had uh, planned ahead of time. We weren't in too bad a shape. We could have cast a heal or two on our, our Barbarian, on Dunker. And, uh, all right. Goblins. Your Grace. Chest good, no need kicking. <laughs> Chests eat goblins sometimes. I saw it once. If it eats me, you be, you be with no Baron no more. Might have to make a Baron Your Grace for the main campaign. Me open it for you, Baron Your Grace. 
Me be Baron, chest be mine. No touching Baron's treasure. It's a good point. All right. I'm going to walk us up a little bit. And then let's see about maybe tossing out um, a bless. I don't really know that we have too much else party buff wise. Um, I may as well throw a shield on myself. And he may as well throw a shield on himself. And now let's go ahead and walk into combat. I wonder if we can get the charge off. Can we do a charge to there? Why, yes, we can. Can he get a charge into there? Why, yes, he can. Link's eye, huh? All right, we got him. Oh, I should have probably cast my little Dealy Bobber. Yeah, we'll go miss. All right. I hate the fact that flipping the the bow onto lightning mode is a is an actual standard action. Oh, these guys screwed up. Yeah, if we go there, we can get four of them. Welcome to the party, buddies. Yeah. You should walk in, too. As should you. Come on. You're a dog cutter. Get in there. Get in there, dog cutter. Yeah. We probably should flip her over to defensive fighting. Um, I'm going to go ahead. What do we got there? Acid dart. All creatures. It's probably overkill. But I'm kind of wondering about just dropping this guy in there. Just to see it. That, that's it. It's... Okay. I think he... He failed his throw. He took damage, I think, for it. But I don't see the damage roll. Wonder what we did on our world check. Okay, well we passed it, whatever it was. Um, we can't quite get in there to attack with him. I'm gonna keep him here. Next turn we'll be able to attack. There's no need to get right in there at the moment. Hampering injury, disorienting injury, bewil bewildering is fine. All right, can we get a charge off here? Yes, we can. We'll come after this dog slasher. Yeah, 20 damage. Nice. Um, I'm going to do this. And then just move around over here. Since we, we've lost our standard action there. That's fine. A lot of hits. They are rolling like crap because they do not need a huge thing to hit her. I think it said, what, 13? Yeah. Alchemists are so good. I really like the Grenadiers. I mean, I think they're just good in general. But uh, I do like the Grenadiers, specifically. Yeah, 15 there. Um, he has, is this it here? Fireball, Burning Arc. He's got the spell, but he also has a wand, right? Let's stick that down there in case we want to use that. Um, Acid Dart, 1d6 plus 1 for every 2. It's not huge. Um, two casters beyond first, you gain an additional. So he's he's essentially at five. So he's only getting he's getting three. So three d four plus one. That's not terrible, I guess. Did something.
All right, Meager, can you get in there and get us a little uh, sneak action attack there? Yeah, big damage. 27. When you, when you, yeah, so I think what we probably want to do is leave her on defensive fighting. If she misses on occasion, that's fine. And then we'll leave him on, I mean, he's already got guarded stance. Oh, he's not raging right now. Let's make sure that happens. Because of that. Jeez. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to walk this direction. Is that enough? Are we close enough to get? Uh, yeah. Down he goes. I do like the little bits falling there. Um, and that guy is dead. I guess the spike just kills him. Um, so let's kind of hang out for a second here. We'll go after the stuff that's not near the spike's trap. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Get some food. Wait for that spike trap to go away. Looks like we've got some dead adventures over here. Some long swords, nothing too fancy. Oh, spike trap went away. Not much good stuff here. We probably won't hang on to much of this. All right, here we go. This is the important bit. Unlocked, there we go. What do we get? Amulet. All right. And Cephal identifies it as natural armor plus one. That's actually pretty good. Um, now we've got light encumbrance. Um, well, we were already at light. I mean, that's... We're not suffering from it. All right. So I think... Let's see. What's her armor class? AC is 24. His is 21. Let's give it to him. Gets him up to 22. It's the only kind of magical item we found in there. Most of this stuff is kind of crap, to be honest. And I kind of have a, I kind of have a deal. If it's not worth one gold per pound, it's probably not worth carrying. Um, so I'm gonna go, let's go wait in descending order. Let's start looking at the big stuff here. So it's 30 pounds, but it's only worth 12 gold. So it's not even worth half. So I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna drop that. Um, that's leather armor plus one. I don't know why it doesn't have a glow around it. Um, I think, what's his? Studded leather plus one. Um, I think we stick with the studded. His, he only has a max dex of five anyway, so it's not like we're going to get that bonus back from leather armor. Um, we could potentially put it on the alchemist. What does he have? Studded leather. Yeah, let's go for that. There we go. That's better. Um, and that's worth 20 pounds and six gold, so let's drop that. Uh, 15 pounds, only two gold. Those are, those are a horrible return on profit for weight. And 10 for, 10 pounds for one, so same there. So we'll drop all this. We'll hang on to the rest of the stuff for now. As we need to, we can look at it. I, I just don't like carrying a lot of crap. Um, and it'll always give you the option at the end of the zone to pick stuff up again. Um, so if you go, oh, I accidentally dropped something that I need, um, you can pick it up again. Comma, some gold coins, protection from evil, that's not too bad. All right. And I think, oh, we got to level up our alchemist. So we get acid bomb here. This is our special whatever. Breath weapon bomb. Instead of drawing the components, uh, creating and throwing a bomb, can draw the components, drink them, mix them as body, and expel them as a breath weapon as a standard action. The breath weapon is a 15-foot cone that has the same DC as the bomb. Every creature within... So if they do get close to him, we could do that instead. That's pretty nasty. I kind of like that. Um, contagion? Cognitagion? 
Um, mutagen light mixture that heightens one mental ability. Oh, okay. At the expense of physical. Okay, so we can make our intelligence bigger and our strength lower. Okay. Um, dispelling bombs. That's kind of cool. Tanglefoot bombs could be good. You know, honestly, though, I don't really mind melee characters moving around because I think, generally speaking, our melee characters are we up front and uh, they will control those guys a little bit better. I think I'm going to do breath weapon bomb just in case we do get people next to him. Um, he can just fire that sucker out and, and, and do a little extra work. And we'll continue with our, our skill support here. Pick all those up. And he gets a level two spell now, or another level two spell. We got protection from arrows and sea invisibility. Um, more healing's probably not bad. I think I'm gonna, aid's not bad either. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of aid. I mean, that's just one character. Um, I prefer, um, is it bless? Uh, which gets kind of gives everybody a little buff. Bark skin wouldn't be bad either. No, I'm just gonna go cure moderate. I think that's I think that's always worth having an extra of. Um, and we'll complete there. And um, I think that's it for episode two. We're 37 minutes in. It says. I mean, there's a little bit of load time in there that I talked through. Um, so we're gonna kind of bail out of this. And then next episode, um, I don't really think there's a reason for us to rest. We didn't use that much. And so next episode, we'll, we'll just make sure we cleared this map here before we go. Yep. Um, next episode, we'll hit that little shield and we will move on to the next zone. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.